I was like, ugh, I fell in love with the devil. And it was something that I kept saying. I was just in such a horrible relationship. I kept telling myself like, this is a song, there's a song in this. I remember my manager, Jen, walking through my front door and I was like sitting on, on the piano and I'm like, oh my God, you gotta hear this song I just wrote. I could just feel like, oh my God, so many people are gonna be able to relate to this one. How many times have we like, or have people like actually experienced either being in a toxic relationship or like, Ponch is like falling in love with a crazy? I was like at the piano with like my head over it, like crying and like going through so much. When I songwrite, I tap into like another realm and it is like a spiritual experience. But I feel like I'm like floating. Like I kind of feel like I'm in this cool, like creative space where I'm like not really like on earth. And the song was like really like healing for me. And so like, I'm like proud of myself for like coming out of the other end of that. Shotguns and roses make a deadly potion. Heartbreak explosions in reckless motion. So the verses came probably at like three o'clock in the morning because I found I would go to bed and shut everything off and unplug and everyone would be gone. And when I would try to go to sleep was when a lot of my lyrics were coming to me. My duvet cover is like stained in like, I had to keep buying new ones because I was like staining them with like pens. I would just like fall asleep with like lyric books and like pens like all around me and wake up and just, oh no, I ruined another pair of sheets. Lyrics like shotguns, which is like obviously like danger and like roses, which is like, can be like a makeup. So there's like the highs and the lows and the like makeup breakup. Heartbreak explosions, meaning like heartbreak. So like there's pain in it and it's just like exploding and then it, the whole thing is just like reckless. Teddy bears and I'm sorry letters don't seem to make things better. Don't bury me alive, sweet talking alibi. It's like the worst I'm sorry like gift, like a teddy bear, like it's like, bring on the rubies and the diamonds, <laughs> teddy bears. But I can't stop the rush and I can't give you up. No, I know you're no good for me. You're no good for me. Battling the temptation with the chemistry and the passion between somebody and you know they're not good for you. It's like actually potentially life threatening. I know what my situation is. I'm with someone who's not good for me. It's like, ah, oh, you, you want them, you want them. But then like you pull away and you're like, no, I have to do what's good for me. I fell in love with the devil and now I'm in trouble. I fell in love with the devil I'm underneath his spell. It was just like someone I was like kind of like dating and slash seeing. It wasn't like an ex-husband or anything like that or like a serious like in love crazy relationship. It was just this guy who showed up in my life. Well, I mean, he did ask me to marry him. <laughs> I was like, um, no. Then like, you know, he like harassed me for a really long time. Like, Someone send me an angel to lend me a halo. I fell in love with the devil. Please save me from this hell. Like, help me get out of this nightmare. I need to like get out of this like spider web that like I'm caught up in. Finding an angel is somebody who is like healthy emotionally, like well balanced, stable, grounded, and like somebody that you can have a healthy like relationship with. Got me playing with fire. Baby, hand me the lighter. Tastes just like danger chaotic anger. Sometimes it's fun to like play with fire and to like, you know, be a little rebellious and to like push the envelope to do things you're not supposed to do or to be a little bad, a little naughty. Sometimes there's just like excitement in that. I'm like a good girl. <laughs> Angels and devils always fight over me. Take me to heaven, wake me up from this dream. Even in sunlight, your cloud shadows over me. It's now or never, wake me up from this dream. In the bridge of the song, I am dancing with the devil, slow dancing in the graveyard. And I thought that was like this really cool, like in that like space of like floatiness, showing the temptation that like I face where this guy is like so hard to resist. Like there's like chemistry and then I eventually like pull away and I'm like, no, I set myself free. I choose to do what's best for me. And then um, I bust open a coffin and then I come out of the coffin and walk off. 
Dig deep, six feet. Dig deep, it's killing me. What are people gonna seriously think about this? Like, can I really put this in a song? And because I'm like asking myself that, I'm like, hell yeah. Cause that's why it's gonna be fucking cool. It's like, not like I'm a devil worshiper or whatever. I like to, to face and um, not run away from issues. I like, I'm totally okay to talk about them because it's real and people go through that. I hope that like, you know, other women or whoever like can get, pull strength, like get, feel strong after like listening to my songs. And like, I'm in a coffin in the music video. And I was like, okay, this is weird, but I embraced it. I'm not saying I didn't have a panic attack in the coffin. <laughs> I did, but I kept it together, you didn't know.